Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining Parkinson Voice Project for today's online Speak Out home practice session. My name is Kelly Korachek, and I'm a speech language pathologist and clinical instructor at the University of South Florida, which is one of the Parkinson Voice Project therapy and research centers across the country. I, I want to also take a moment and credit one of my students this semester, Emily Worth, for her time, creativity, and attention to detail in helping me create this content for our exercise today. I really appreciate, I really do appreciate it. August happens to be National Dog Month, and so today we are celebrating our furry four-legged friends with a fun dog theme. So I want to encourage you to speak with intent, swallow with intent, and really live purposefully with intent every day. So how do we do that? How do we speak with intent? It means to really speak purposefully, project up and over, speak out, and of course, have your water ready to swallow with intent. I'll take a sip now. So some of you may be completing speak out therapy now with a speech language pathologist. Some of you may be interested in starting speak out therapy and others may have already completed speak out therapy and are continuing in your maintenance program at home. Either way, our focus is to use intent every day in all that we do. Remember that speaking with intent isn't the same as speaking loudly. Our voices are really dynamic. And when we speak with intent, our loudness improves, our prosody improves, our intonation improves, which is kind of like the melody of our voice and uh, rate and articulation can improve. And most importantly, we are confident when, we're, when we speak out, when we speak with intent. So let's, before we get started, let's take one more sip of water with intent. So this is a helpful rating scale that I like to use after completing each exercise. I will encourage you all to use this rating scale and rate how well you've been using intent. And our goal is to really use that for voice. We want you to always use intent and speak out. So as you know, our first exercise is the may, me, my, mo, mu. For this exercise, really project your voice forward with lots of intent. Keep it smooth and connected. Let's begin. May, me, my, mo, mu. Make sure to connect as many sounds as you can. Remember, we are warming up the voice. Let's do it again. May, me, my, mo, mu. Really lift your voice and project it over the computer. May, me, my, mo, mu. And again, may, me, my, mo, mu. We are taking control of our voice and not letting Parkinson's can take control of our voice. One more time. May, me, my, mo, Right. How well did you use intent? I want you to really aim for that four voice, but if you feel you're not quite there, then let's use more intent for this next exercise. Before we go on, let's swallow, take a sip of water with intent. Okay. 
Our next exercise is our sustained ah. I want you to find a focal point across the room and really let your voice fly over the computer. We're gonna hold it for about 10 seconds, but our goal is to use a good quality voice. We do, we do not wanna yell and remember to project up and over. Let's begin. Uh, so finding that focal point, projecting up and over, remember to keep your eye on that focal point. And again. Uh, Using a good, clear quality voice, remember to project up and over. We'll do it again. Uh, do you have your focal point? Remember to fly that voice over your computer. We're gonna do it one more time. Uh, did you use intent? Remember, I hope that you're always aiming for that four voice, always using intent. But if you didn't, let's use more intent the next time. Let's go ahead and take a sip of water with intent. Our third speak out exercise is the glides. For the glides, you're gonna start at a comfortable pitch, glide up to a comfortable pitch using clear vocal quality, but most importantly, use intent all the way through. Okay, so we're gonna project your voice forward using an ah and slowly glide up. Ah. Remember to try to get as many of those little notes in there as you can. Let's do it again. Uh, uh, remember the sound is always in front of you. It does take a lot of coordination and control to complete this exercise with a good quality of voice. It's not easy, but it does get easier with consistent practice and the help of a speech language pathologist in speak out therapy. Let's do it again. Uh... Remember that this exercise is also very important for the intonation or the melody of your voice that I mentioned earlier. Let's do it again. Uh... Uh... All right, now I hope our voices are really warmed up. As you're getting familiar with this rating scale, take a moment and see how much intent did you use? Were you always using intent? I hope so. Let's go ahead and take a sip of water. Our next speak out exercise is the counting. 
during the counting, really remember to connect the numbers, lift and speak out. Let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. We are lifting and speaking each number with intent. Now let's go backwards. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Three. Remember, don't trail off. Now we will go down each line with intent. One, five, nine. 13, 2, 6, 10, 14, 3, 7, 11, 15, 4, 8, 12, 16, Wow, I feel like I'm working hard. I'll give myself a four for always using intent. Where are you at? Aiming for that forward voice, I hope. Let's take a moment and swallow a sip of water with intent. Our next speak out exercise is the reading. But before I get started, I have a fun request for all of you. As I said earlier, August is National Dog Month. I'd love for any dog owner, dog parent, or dog lover to share a picture of your furry friends in the chat if you'd like. I'd love to see those dog pics. I'll give you all a second to do so if you'd like to. While you're doing that, I wanted to share that this is my dog, Riley. He just turned 14 years old in May, and we got him right after my husband and I got married. So he's been with us for a long time. We have a lot of great memories with Riley. This was him on his 14th birthday, um, and he's been such an important part of our family for so long. So we really do love our fur baby, and I hope to see all of your dogs too. Okay, so in honor of National Dog Month, our reading excerpt comes from Dogs, Our Furry Friends by Games for ESL. We're going to read some sentences with intent and remember to exaggerate those highlighted words. Um, and we're gonna read each sentence twice. Let's begin. Dogs are one of the most beloved pets in the world. Dogs are one of the most beloved pets in the world. They are known for their loyalty, affectionate nature, and their ability to form strong bonds with their owners. Again, they are known for their loyalty, affectionate nature, and their ability to form strong bonds with their owners. There are many different breeds of dogs, each with their own unique characteristics and personalities. Again, there are many different breeds of dogs, each with their own unique characteristics and personalities. Remember to speak each word with intent. Let's take a moment and rate our use of intent. Aiming for that four voice? I hope so. 
go ahead and also take a swallow of water with intent. Our next speak out therapy exercise is the cognitive exercise. This is challenging because now we have to think about what we want to say as well as how we say it, which is to use intent, of course. Always keep your focus on intent. We have to take what we learn from these exercises and then apply it to real life conversation. That's what's most important. So since August is National Dog Month, we are going to use intent and name these dog breeds. I'll show you pictures on the next few slides and you are going to use intent and name the dog breed. Let's begin. What is this dog breed? And describe what it looks like. So here we have a poodle, likely a giant poodle, and very unique coat, curly, brown, fur, cutie. All right, with intent, what is this dog breed? How well do you know your dogs? And describe what it looks like. Very good. We have the Yorkshire Terrier. And our last one. With intent, what is this dog breed? And what does it look like? Got a, a favorite of many, we have the German Shepherd. Let's do one more exercise here. This time, I want you to use intent, but I want you to answer in complete sentences. With intent, name some benefits of having a dog. I hope we have a lot of dog lovers watching today. I'll share just a couple. They're man's best friend. They offer lots of love, lots of snuggles, and no judgment. All right, let's take a moment and rate our use of intent. I know that may have been challenging. Maybe some of you found yourself trailing off, but remember to really use intent all the time and aim for that four voice. Let's take another moment and take a sip of water with intent. All right, it's that time. We're gonna go over Dr. Boone's words. Remember to say each one twice, and we're gonna exaggerate the Gs, the Ks, the Ings with intent. Let's begin. Gula, gung, ga, ga. Again. Gula, gung, ga, ga. And the next. Ku ka mung gu ka. Ku ka mung gu ka. And the next gung gla. Gung gla. Ku kla. Kukla. All right, let's take a sip of water. And to finish our exercise today, we're going to do a bonus reading. For this reading, I want you to really use your CEO voice and throw it forward, throw it across the room, again, to that focal point you found earlier. This should be very intentional and purposeful. I want you to read it like you mean it. Let's begin. Dogs are incredibly affectionate animals and have been trained to perform a wide range of tasks, including search and rescue, guide work for the disabled, and even serving as therapy animals. Let's read that again. Dogs are incredibly affectionate animals and have been trained to perform a wide range of tasks, including search and rescue, 
guide work for the disabled and even serving as therapy animals. Let's try this one with intent. They need a healthy diet, regular exercise, and frequent, frequent grooming to keep their coats clean and healthy. Again, they need a healthy diet, regular exercise, and frequent grooming to keep their coats clean and healthy. Let's try this one. Proper training is also essential to ensure that dogs behave well and follow basic commands. Again, proper training is also essential to ensure that dogs behave well and follow basic commands. All right, thank you. That concludes our practice session for today. Thank you all for joining me. Remember the importance of continuing with deliberate practice, completing your speak out exercises every day. Please join Samantha during her Monday through Friday live speech exercises at 10 a.m. Central Time. This is such a fun way to an engaging way to complete your exercises. And you can also watch the pre-recorded exercises at your leisure if you're not able to join at 10 a.m. Central Time. So I leave you today, but most importantly, remember to speak, swallow, and live with intent. Thank you.